I, I just said, oh, yay, because I saw something in Variety. And Angelina Jolie is coming back to film, and she's going to be in a biopic playing legendary opera singer Maria Callas in the in a, a biopic film that's going to be coming out. And I say, yay, because I think she's a, one of the more underrated actresses uh, in, in the industry. I'm really happy to see her acting Angelina again. Jolie, is that Billy Bob Thornton's ex? Yes. Oh, wow. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Angelina Jolie. Did you see? Did you ever see that? Uh, the sex I, in the car? Yeah, that iconic yes. interview. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just like we just had sex in the car. Oh, they were horn dogging, <laughs> and she was. And like, it was she was she not, was molesting she, his oh, mouth yeah, during she's the just, interview. She's ready to go back in the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but have you? Did you see Changeling? I think I did when it came out. Yeah. If you haven't seen Changeling, I haven't seen it since for sure. If you haven't seen Changeling, it's it's. It's the evidence that Angelina Jolie is a, or a formidable Mrs. actress. Smith. No, that's not it. Uh, today we got a new Kungana uh, trailer. This oh, is cool. for Tejas, uh, which uh, as a Texan means something totally yeah, different. Yeah, completely different uh, if you're from Texas. If, if you get that, you're from Texas. Uh, <laughs> but there's a new Kungana with, uh, read these other names. With uh, Sarvish M and Ronnie S. Yeah. Uh, I don't know anything other than that. It comes okay. out October 27th. This is not the... I don't believe it's the same one that we just saw something for. Unless I'm an idiot, but I don't remember the name Tejas. So I don't... What, with Kangana? Yeah, the, we just saw... Yeah, we saw a song. Was it a song? That we, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was, it a, was song. a song. It was a song from a Vishal Bardwash film. That's right. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know anything else. We'll look up the logline after. I don't want to be spoiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, here we go. Cool. Not great, but not terrible CGI. Encouraging. This is not personal. It is personal for me, sir. Terrorism is dunya mein sab ke liye personal hona chahiye. Kabhi se is dunya se nikala ja sakta hai. My time will be 45 minutes. Ma'am, plan India se take off karne ka nahi hai. Kya aircraft kahan se take off karne? Pakistan se. See, the story interests me. Um, I think it could be interesting, but the it was not good CGI. It, it looked like Kangana yeah. standing in front of a green screen yeah, for three fourths of the trailer. I just don't know it. It I don't know how you can, as a creative team, with a name as as big as Ronnie Scruvala and a name as big as Kangana, yeah, look at that as a final cut and say it's acceptable. 
Yeah, it literally looked like she was in front of the, a green It's screen. very clear the story is dependent upon the battles that take place in the sky in the same way any kind of a film that's been done, the most recent one being Maverick. And that's the last imagery most people have in their mind around the world of... Now, I don't expect every actor who does a film about the Air Force to learn how to fly a plane and do it like Tom Cruise. That's yeah. ridiculous. However, yeah. they're... they're we're in a we're in a place right now where not just the world but Indian CGI has proven it can be done immaculately. That I don't know how you can accept the CGI we saw in that. Yeah, um, and it's disappointing because I would like to see the story and I really want to see another Kangana Ranao yeah. performance. Um, and it's not the director of Uri; it's just the producers, Ronnie uh, Scrivala. Yeah, um, I mean. That's as big as they come in yeah, the producers. world of producing. Yeah. Read the uh, logline <laughs> um, for me. The logline says, this revolves around an extraordinary journey of Tejas Gill. So I guess it's a, it's a biopic. Yeah. An Air Force pilot and aims to inspire and instill a deep sense of pride in the valiant soldiers who tirelessly defend our nation, confronting numerous challenges along the way. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah. The uh, story looks intriguing. Yeah. You know her performance is going to be solid. Yeah. But it, the visual effects were not, bad. Yeah, not good. Um, because that's all like that's all I was thinking about in here. I was like, that's just Kangana standing in front of a green screen, which is distracting. <laughs> well, and even the shots of the planes flying and shooting and doing stuff in midair, it was yeah. very clear we're watching animation. Yeah, which um, one of the primary things you need. I've said this many times before. In order for your audience to be engaged with what they're watching, you have to have suspension of disbelief, mm -hmm. and there's no way anyone's going to watch that and believe they're watching a real plane fly. And fight, which is, yeah. I don't know how you do that when your story is s centered on that. It's, it's just disappointing. I mean, you guys can tell us if you don't care about the CGI, obviously. But um, coming even just from this year's films of that I thought had good CGI, a big action films of Bataan, even though they had some issues, Jawan in terms of its CGI, in terms of uh, a couple of the films that have come out that I thought, like, we're at the level, I mean, KGF, right? Um, yeah. At the level of uh, Hollywood in terms of this is the kind of VFX we're putting out now. Mm -hmm. And so not even comparing it to anything in Hollywood. <laughs> no, I'm comparing it to Indian cinema. Because obviously we know the differences <laughs> the industry spend. Um, and we're not <laughs> saying an Indian film should ever spend what a Hollywood film does. No. Because <laughs> that's ridiculous, the yeah. amount that we spend, obviously. But just by comparison to films this year and last year of, of CGI, it's not at the standard that no, it should I mean, be. No, I mean, give you the most recent comparison of a global film with really good visual effects was... Um, R. No. Hmm. <sighs> Ranbir, Alia. Oh. Big B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good grief. Why is the name of the film escaping Shut me? Shut up. Hold on. I can get it. Um, Last Brahmastra. Summer. Thank you. I knew it was with a B. Yeah. Yeah. The visual effects on Brahmastra were, were, were wonderful. I'm sure the budget for Brahmastra was way above this, but I still, agree. that's but what still, we're going to compare it to. And you're going to compare it to that, and my feeling really is, if you're going to tell a f story that is going to be dependent upon CGI, really don't tell it until you have the budget. Which is the same thing we're going to say to do it that way. next year when the film Fighter comes out, which is a Air Force film, kind of like this one, with Rithik and Topeka. Uh, if that has this kind of CGI as well, I mean, I'm going to call it out. It's true, because i give you an example of the films that are made here in Hollywood. The, the bad CGI you saw in the past was because of technological constraint. There just wasn't the technology to make it look any better than it could. Um, and, and now, if someone doesn't have the money to create the vision they want, they just change the storytelling so as to not make it so blatantly obvious that they don't have the capacity to, especially when it's inherent to the storyline. So, yeah. I'm, this one is. Um, yeah. Uh, you guys can tell us if uh, it, it, it it's bothersome to you, the um, the VFX there. I'm looking forward to Kangana. I think she's a heck of an actress. Um, the, obviously, the producer is, is a, yeah, a no, very well-known producer. True story. We'd love to know about it. Um, so that's not really the issues. It's all it's all about the VFX here that hopefully um, 
aren't as bad in the film, but it's coming out end of it's October. It's October 27th. So I think you, what you saw is, is what you're going to get. Even if they're not done, they're not going to get everything. Yeah. <laughs> be able yeah. to get everything fixed that they need to. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about it. If you're excited for it, down below.